Hello and welcome to another video. Um, this week I wanted to make a video about chucks for trimming your pottery. Be it a chuck for trimming a mug or a chuck for trimming a narrow necked bottle or narrow necked form. In this video specifically I will be talking about chucks for trimming mugs. Um, these ones, these little guys right here for trimming mugs. It's more rare that I trim pots without a chuck these days. They just make things so much more efficient, so much faster. And let's get to it. Alright, so I'm starting out with just a little under a pound of clay here. And I'm going through the motions of how I would make any other pot. Centering my clay. Um, I'm going to open it up. I want these to be as wide or wider than the opening of whatever mug I will be trimming. I use calipers to measure the width of these chucks and I will um, I'll match up like the width of my mug to the width of this chuck. Um, yeah, that'll become more clear as I move a little bit further into the video. But yeah, for now I'm just pulling up these walls and this whole process, it, I make these closed. I just close them out, um, just a whole like closed form. And it feels a lot like throwing any sort of bottle. The whole time that I'm throwing these chucks, I wanna make sure that the rim of my pot is always going towards the center of my wheel because as soon as the rim starts to go out, it's going to be a lot harder to get it back in. These don't take much time. They're pretty quick. Um, I have quite a few of them because pots come in all shapes and sizes, so you need chucks in all shapes and sizes. So right there, I'm just taking the measure in my mug and I'm going to match up the measurement to this chuck. I always keep them tapered, so I want my bottoms pretty wide on these, and then I want them to come in a lot more narrow at the neck. That way it gives you a little room to play, you know, if you have a mug that's a little bit bigger than another mug, generally you can have like one chuck to fit a whole range of, you know, the width or like the openings of your mugs. So yeah, take my rib there, I am not going to work on that bottom part anymore and I'm just going to close off the neck of this chuck here. Using this little method I'm trying to have the clay touch all contact points of my fingers so it just gives me that much more control over closing out that neck. It's not going to move around at all. So I close it off then I pull it up because each time you're compressing that clay when you collar it's going to make it a little bit thicker there, so then you want to pull the wall up after you collar in that wall. So then I just get to the point where I pinch off the clay, and now it's closed. It is a closed little form right there. I'm just removing some excess with my needle because I wanted it to look clean. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist that way, where I just, cosmetically, I just wanted this thing to look all smooth and and pretty even though like this top part you know my mug's not going to be touching that top part at all I'm mainly just worried about those sides being centered and that side being clean um, so now I'm poking my needle tool in the bottom because since this form is closed off it just has all that trapped air in it and once I take my torch to it if it didn't have an opening there's a high probability this thing would explode if I didn't like poke a little hole in the side of it I've had it happen before and it's, if you're just experimenting with it, it's kind of fun to do. You know, all that air on the inside, all that water, steam's going to build up and just pop it like a balloon. So once I dried it off with my torch a little bit, it is ready to come off the wheel. And I'll just pop it off of there. And let it dry out a little bit until it gets to the leather hard stage, which is right about now. Um, I was only thinking about it once I started doing this, but... I'm using a chuck here to trim another chuck. I think in the future I'll make another video about trimming or throwing these kind of chucks. These ones are for narrow necked forms. 
and then you can see how I'm using it here to just tidy up the bottom of this chuck that I'm using to trim my mugs. The biggest thing that you really have to worry about is uh, your bottom moving up and down. You just want to make sure it's flat across. In the past, I've used a level to center them. You can actually just throw a level on the base of your pot and just have the bubble line up to where it would be level and make sense. This isn't really necessary. I'm mainly just doing this because I want my chuck to be nice and clean and tidy because I will hopefully have this thing for a few months. I keep these at the leather hard stage because it's going to make it that much easier for your pot, your leather hard pot, to stick to a leather hard pot. You can also bisque your chucks. But, yeah, I, uh, I like to keep them leather hard for as long as I can just because it makes it for a lot more pleasant of a trimming experience. So now that I have this thing all tidied up, I'm just going to tap it into center. And once I got my chuck center, got those sides nice and center, I can throw my mug on top of it. These things, they make it so much more efficient to be trimming a mug or a bottle or, you know, any multiple of a piece that you have. If you have 40 mugs, instead of centering 40 mugs onto your wheel one after one, you just have your chuck all centered on your wheel and it can just stay there. And you can just pop them on and off as you please. And you don't have to worry about squishing your rims. There's so many benefits to using these things. I love them. So yeah, I was just kind of tapping my mug onto center there. And then that top little piece, that's just a rear lens cap for a camera lens. I've had this one for a long time, but they're really cheap. You can find one anywhere. And it's just as effective as like the new spinner kind of tools that they sell for, for trimming the bottoms of your pots. I throw these mugs really thin. I don't trim the actual base of the mug at all. I'm mainly just kind of tidying up the sides, getting rid of some of the throwing lines, but not all of them. Just refining that shape. And then I'll just bevel an edge into the very bottom of this mug. Over time, I find, m I find myself trimming less and less foot rings into pots because foot rings are prone to chipping and I want these to last a long time so I'll just bevel an edge into a pot and I just like the look of a wide bottomed you know like a wide flat bottomed mug the profile is just really nice to me I've been throwing pots now for about 14 years and I've only been using these trimming chucks for mugs for the past five years and I wish I'd been using them all along. It really speeds up the process, especially with the more mugs that you have. It just makes it that much easier. You can just pop them onto your truck, pop them off. Your rims aren't going to get squished. You're not going to mess anything up. You don't have to worry about the rim being completely flat onto your wheelhead to make it even. It can be kind of wonky, and you can still get away with it. I love these trimming chucks <laughs> if you're not sold yet so here's another kind of way to center these if you don't want to tap center you can just hold your finger to the side of the pot and every time it hits your finger you would move your pot in the opposite direction on top of your chuck and that will get it just nice and flat and centered for you so now that I got this one centered just gonna center my little my little lens cap up there and yeah, keep trimming, keep trimming away. Something that I tend to do while I'm trimming, no matter what I'm trimming, I'm always kind of bracing my fingers on my hands to my wrists. You can see how, you know, I have that one finger on my lens cap. My thumb in my left hand is balanced on top of my trimming tool with my index finger in my right hand. So I just have like I'm constantly steadying my hands, my fingers with the other hand or finger, if that makes sense. Kind of jumbling my words here. I just like to have a, a, some sort of brace in every possible way that I can while I'm trimming to have things nice and steady. 
So there you go. Yeah, you can see my, my rim's all good. I didn't squish it down. I don't have to worry about touching it up. I just throw it on my truck and throw it off my truck. So one thing I'll do, I try to do after each use, is I'll just dip these in water, like so. And these will keep leather hard for weeks, months, as long as you keep dipping them in water and you wrap them up in the plastic bag like this, they will keep for a very long time. I didn't necessarily have to throw this in here, but it felt weird to not show the finished mug, so I wanted to just include this. Um, yeah, right here I'm just pulling a handle off this mug because it felt like it would have been a waste to not finish these mugs for the sake of the example of the trimming chuck. So yeah, I decided to finish them. Um, I wanted this video to be short and just kind of straight to the point, and that's all I really have for you. There's my mugs, there's my chucks. Try them, try making them, try using them, and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.